Hey guys, so how are you doing? I don't know when you guys break up for Easter because everyone I tutor breaks up at completely different times. Some people seem to have a month off, which seems crazy. Other people have just two weeks off, which makes scheduling our revision courses quite tricky. And if you've looked at our website, you can see that we're running courses pretty much every day for two weeks. So that's pretty intense. But you guys that are signed up to like six, seven, eight courses, kudos, that is super impressive. And I can't wait to get loads and loads of work done with you guys then. It should be really, really efficient and really effective. But the reason I'm making this video is because I've just uploaded our free revision timetable to the website. And this has always proved really popular, both with you guys that view the channel and also the people I actually tutor privately. I get messages every year from them being like, Hazel, can I have another copy of that timetable? Because here we've done the hard work for you. We've helped to arrange your day because now is when you need to be getting organized. Please don't panic. I know that exam season is approaching, but we're still in March right now. Please don't worry too much if you haven't done enough work or you feel that you haven't been working hard enough in the lead up to the exams. You've got Easter now, it's time to get organized and that's why the revision timetable should really help you here because it'll help break up your day, organize your time, allow you to have time off to see friends and family without the guilt. Remember, I always say this to you, when you decide to finally start working, make sure you're working. Don't spend all your time idly looking at TikTok or Insta. This isn't very helpful for you. And it makes you feel a bit sick, doesn't it? If you think you've sat there scrolling for five hours when you could have been out seeing people. So my point to you guys is to get organized, identify any gaps in your knowledge, any places that you don't understand the content, start going through those specifications, color coding the bits you know well, the bits you know less well, and just make a list of the topics that you just need to, you know, if you wanna watch one of my YouTube videos or go ask a teacher at school or look up a textbook, just get organized and make sure that you're not approaching the exams being like, what on earth is osmosis? I have no idea. What's this radioactivity topic in physics? I have no clue. You don't wanna be learning stuff for the first time when you start revising in earnest. It should be more of a recapping exercise, practicing past exam questions. But yeah, go check out the revision timetable on the website. It's free to download. And let me know what sort of videos do you want from me in the lead up to your exams. I'll be back soon anyway, regardless. So just to show you the revision timetable, as you can see, we've got quite a helpful list here in terms of bullet points, how to approach your revision. Here's a kind of filled in one that I used. And then there's plenty here for you to get stuck into.